guys, uh, welcome back. This is your boy G Adam Sling. How are you guys doing? As usual, guys, uh, support your boy, like this video, comment, share it on all stream platform. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Adam Sling. Make sure you subscribe, then uh, click the notification to get updates anytime in the upload. And also, good morning, afternoon, evening, depending on where you are watching this video from. So, guys, uh, let's uh, firstly, I want to ask this question, guys. Sorry. If you have 500 million naira in your bank account, or let me say 200 million, 200 million naira or more than, will you still consider living in Nigeria as a Nigerian if you have such amount of money? And uh, let's discuss, please kindly leave your comment below, guys, and uh, let's have a discussion about this uh, little bit of politics. Uh, firstly, about current Vice President Yemi Usibanjo. You know, 2023 is just by the corner, and a lot of uh, political giants have been. Uh, declaring their interests and Usiba Joe is one of the person that we a lot of Nigerians want him to also declare his interest for presidency because we have been hearing side talk that he might come out uh, he might come out to declare or he might run or those kind of talk I'll be going around but you guys forget I have had this numerous argument with my friends that it's impossible for Usiba Joe to declare and if Osibajo declare, I do not think he has a fighting chance. But with the way the public speeches he have been giving, the way he's uh, kind of like making his speech, it seems as if hmm, he might declare very, very soon. But how will Tunubu take it? Hearing Osibajo declaring for president, declaring to run for president, how do you think Osib uh, Tunubu will take it, being that is the godfather of Osibajo. Well, I'm just thinking out loud though, you know, with these politics going around, everybody just trying to analyze the best way, analyze the old senior the best way he or she can. But honestly, I do not think Osibajo will run for president. But if he do though, it's actually good. I know a lot of people will vote for him. And he also have a, a better chance to win. Same thing with uh, Tunubu and other uh, candidates who have uh, declared their intention but my candidate my candidate is uh no i don't want to, uh, i don't want to say that then now uh, let's talk about jonathan uh former president Bullock jonathan we have been hearing rumors also that you know uh the recent meeting has been having with uh the current president president Mahmoud Buhari, uh, that uh president Mahmoud Buhari is trying to you know advise him to persuade him to run for presidency come 2023. The laughable though honestly I, I think good luck Jonathan has done so much for Nigeria. At least the peace when he willingly just left power for President Madubari to take over I think he has done more than enough. So for me I think he should just rest. Rest and look forward to other things in life. Than coming back again to run for president, uh, for presidential election. That's my own take, though. If that, if that rumors are anywhere true, too, because I had some people discussing it yesterday. And also talking about Tinubu, the picture that I saw of him recently is quite really okay compared to the pictures we have, we have seen few weeks, months ago, showing that uh, he's really sick and cannot or is not fit to run for president. Honestly, the picture that we saw recently, when he recently uh, came back from where he traveled to, to Nigeria, honestly, those, pic those pictures are dashy. It looks very healthy to me. Well, we all have our own uh, say on this because it's running for presidency. And uh, of course, if you think it's not fit, you are allowed to say that. And if me, myself, judging by the picture, though, it's not as if I am his doctor or whatsoever, but judging by the picture I saw, I think it's fit to run for president and after all when you have dreams to to actualize no matter the age try to actualize them it's only death that can tell you that okay enough is enough you cannot do this anymore but as long as you are alive and you have the strength do it do it so to be coming for presidency there's nothing absolutely not wrong with you guys Everyone is well allowed. I myself, am I able to declare interest to run for president very soon? Just wait. And uh, let's talk about uh, Osh Poppy versus Abakari. So, uh, you know, 
Abakari has been suspended. Of course, we know about that. Oshpapi currently in prison will be sentenced very, very soon. And uh, according to this headline, the suspended police officer Abakari may be extradited to the USA. The Nigerian government is in talk with the United States government over the possible extradition of suspended police officer Abakari, who was fingered in a multi-million dollar fraud allegedly masterminded by Ramos Abbas, popularly known as Osh Poppy. The Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Malami, disclosed this on Monday, February 7th in an interview with China's TV. According to him, he said, it is an issue that has international and national uh, dimension. Actions have been taken. It is a work in process locally and internationally. And we are doing whatever it takes to ensure justice is done within the context of the law, regardless of personalities that are involved. When criminality is involved, Nigeria and U.S. naturally works together when there are elements of the offenses that has taken place in the diverse uh, jurisdiction. So Nigeria is doing the needful by the way of supporting what America is doing for the purpose of ensuring that the cases are tried accordingly within the content of the America content of it. And then eventually, if there is need for local prosecution, nothing stops it. Well, okay. You know, we have been on this issue. In fact, a lot of people do, are no longer really interested in this uh, whole Abakari and um, Oshpapi issue. You know, yeah, it was trendy then, but right now people are a little bit, you know what? Sentence those people. If you want to this, you want to try this person, you know? So we are still waiting though. And I'm still going to be definitely be uh, letting you know about any possible uh news or so guys uh, let's talk about this uh, sunday boho according to the headline Benin republic government extend sunday boho detention by six months good six months guys you know it was expected to be released and uh, we saw lots of uh, abalis one in the federal government even Benin republic government that even if you do not release on the boho we will spiritually release him don't understand that well they have extended it and according to they say aliwa stated that the government of Benin republic has renewed the incarceration of uh chief sunday boho for another six months even though there is no criminal charge in their file in kotuno and without extradition request from nigeria Ibuho has been in detention in Benin republic since he was arrested at the Kotunu Airport at the West Africa Nation Security Force while he was trying to visit Germany in July 2021. The 49 years old left Nigeria for Benin Republic after the federal government declared him wanted and he has since spent over 200 days in detention in Benin Republic prison. Well, that's crazy though. And there have been some really mixed reaction to it. And uh, this one uh, 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 came from uh, Senator Shew. He said, I don't support Iboho uh, ideas and activities, uh, activities in any way, but the reported extension of his detention by six months is in inhuman. Well, uh, one of uh, President Buhari's aides, uh, Bashir Ahmad said, Go to Kontunu, mobilize and take the street, distinguished senator. That would make your call to be heard clearly by them. <laughs> well, everybody get my now, they talk. That's a Nigeria senator you are talking to. So uh, I think we should move over to a little bit about our life and uh, music as well. Firstly, let's talk, uh, let's talk about the bunch. You know, usually... A lot of people think just doing music and feed you. Just doing music and singing can put food on your table. It can actually put food on your table. But just singing doesn't. Because there are a bunch of people out there who know how to sing. Who can upload their music on YouTube, on Spotify, on any other platform out there. And yet, 
they don't still make it and they know how to sing that's why we need platform that's how, why we need music businesses well the band said music alone can sustain the luxury lifestyle of your dreams he said i tell people this music brings you into the room but what you do in that room is entirely up to you so if you have if you have read which which i know you have you will see that I have been more focused especially when i become a family man it's my sixth year in marriage and ever since then i've looked for different platforms that would keep my fame and family intact so if you were to google jay-z or the wealthiest musician in the world you will see that only 10 percent of their wealth is probably from music i'm just trying to say that if you look at kanye as a billionaire jay-z is a billionaire and maybe he got like 100 million from music the rest are from business and that is what nigeria needs i was telling someone we need such a structure and the right uh merchandise and then of course you can always make music music will forever be in me i'm always going to release music but uh nowadays we see our latest artists as soon as they are as soon as their music start popping the next thing just to you know to lavish it on women on goals and all the rest go and check out uh, portable you actually know exactly what i'm talking about portable is just living his life crazy just going around doing all sorts of things man see that is just fame more fame doesn't really tell if you have money or not you know small shows and all the rest they will all go away people will move to another set of people who really uh, who, who, who knows how to sing because your own kind of music might just be overworn out and you want to source what that means so make sure you keep the business flowing that's why we, we, we will definitely beat our chest and be like people like david do uh, not go ever suffer because the business structures is already laid down uh, laid down so let's check that and uh check them out this one is coming from a man who kind of like give reasons why he cheated or why he's cheating on his wife so this man said thank god my missus did not have the kind of mindset i was broke had nothing and she still believed in me and she lifted me and this is why i tell my side chicks no matter how he's sweet rich, I can never leave my wife. <laughs> then someone asks him, on top of how amazing your wife is, you still have side peace. Now wow for you. Then he just replied, it is how God wired us men. There are women out there who don't have problem of with their husband cheating. Yeah, there are women out there, but they just want to respect. They want their stake. They do not know if you like Cheeto, not know Cheeto, but they want their own respect. They want their stake. That's just it, man. So I think, like I said before, I think it's impossible for a man to cheat and a woman does not really find out that that man is cheating. It's impossible. Except if that woman just want to keep quiet, just allow you. But cheat with a little bit of responsibility. In a way that uh, you have to clarify to that woman that say I get, I get a uh, wife who do not need to come in between my wife, and uh, that should be all, guys. So definitely we we'll catch you next time. So have a wonderful day. Stay blessed.